What's up guys and welcome back to the medium. It's not a very comfortable feeling when you're playing this game. Obviously, that's what it's intended to do. Um, and I just overall am not enjoying the vibes. I mean, it's 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 a very interesting story, but again, the game is not meant for you to enjoy it as far as like, you know, how you feel internally. You're supposed to feel spooked and scared and it's just a weird feeling, man. But but I do want to know what happens with Marianne. I again not an official series or anything just yet i, I want to try one more episode maybe another one after this one and, and see where the story leads i'm just very intrigued who the hell was that monster that tried to kill us making all those sorts of weird noises and stuff i don't know but um we are back where we started pretty much we're back on the first floor sadness is missing i don't know what's going on there's someone there Sinners be damned. I believe this should have the same information we read earlier. Oh, God. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Oh, hi. Hello? Fine. Richard. Richard? No, sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Find a way into the day room. Are you trying to show me the way? Okay, so I believe there was a little map over here. This is not looking good at all. Where was the little map? Was it this way? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... Oh, no, this was the poster. I know there was a little map where it was telling us where we were currently, and then it had all the other offices within this build. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So the day room is, oh, oh, so it's, oh, it's all the way back there. That's the day room. Is it not? Oh, fucking shit. Oh, God. There it is. What is that? All right, so we're gonna right. need. What now? We're gonna need either a key or some tool to pry that open. The day room, the safest place for the youngest. <laughs> sure, my ass. Oh man, you see what I'm talking about? Like these spooky vibes, man. Like. Oh, this is getting creepy, bro. <laughs> Family time, holidays. Okay. Here we go. Into the day room we go. Notice how they gave us a flashlight on the last episode? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least sadness was still with me. Uh, in a way. I don't think so, Marianne. I think we're in some deep shit right now, sister. Notice how they gave us a flashlight on the last episode just to... Prepare us for what's to come. Everything is dark. The lights no longer work in here. It's nighttime. I don't know what's going on. We got a monster trying to eat us. Mm -mm -mm. Man, this is not it. We will persevere. We will keep going. Is that? Oh God, it's everywhere. Yeah, How that's. Many people died here. Yes, Marianne. That's blood. Let's make sure that. Oh. Uh... Frick was that? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, I know I can go into the pool. Okay, so let's go into the pool now because it looks like that entrance over there is where we're gonna have to be going. Well, let me just make sure and climb up there.
nothing here. Okay. What is this? What is this? Oh, that's right. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can actually get some more insight on this. I think we're now good to go back up there. Although I don't really want to. I'm being completely frank. There's nothing on this corner. Oh my god, this is so fucking creepy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh god, this atmosphere, bro. What is this? So there's more blood. What's the point of that? I don't get it. That makes no sense. What is the point of moving that cart there? Now I can't move it back. Damn it. All right, let's just head down over here. Screw it. Whenever I'm walking through these areas, I try to investigate as much as I can. Sometimes I'm going to miss certain things, but I'm trying not to. Cover your nose. Try not to look at them. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Hmm. Try not to look at them. Are they talking about the monsters? Bro, if this game was first person mode, it'd be insanely scary. We I mean, look at the freaking scenario here. Like, look at the setting. It's just creepy as shit. My dearest, I wish this was it. The moment I pluck up and courage and actually send this one. It seems so easy. Just throw it in the mailbox, then why can't I? Someday, I promise. I love you with all my heart. Huh. Fingerprints on the box. That's not good. Listen, monster, if you're here somewhere, I'm going to need you to calm down. My name is Marianne. I am a medium. I can go into the spirit world, but I will repeat that I come in peace. I want no trouble. Oh, God. Please just keep it cool. There's no need to act crazy. Ooh. Francis, what am I supposed to do with you? Once Neva shuts down, or once it shut down, you begged me to keep you on. Said you needed time to sort things out. Said you could be useful. But now I know you're just using me as an excuse. Like those letters you kept writing. Francis, that's the guy with the little... Francis is the guy that was sending his wife letters. I know you never sent a single goddamn one. Family's doing good. Mr. Rekowicz. Uh, um... Family's doing good, Mr. Rekowicz. I'll probably go home this next spring. Summer at the latest. Who are you kidding, Frank? Hell, as long as you're here, I can at least keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't get hammered and pass out in the snowdrift. Yes, it's the least that I can do. Good old Frank. Too scared to live, too stubborn to die. Sometimes I feel guilty using you like this. But then I remember. I need all the help that I can. Bro, I'm not scared of this shit, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna be scared. I'm not gonna be playing scared and all that. Uh uh, not today. Not today, bro. I'm going in full throttle, baby. Come on. That's right. Are those bolt cutters? Yes. Might be useful. Oh, yes. How can If only I could reach them. We're gonna have to go up top. Yep, we're gonna have to go up top. Oh! 
locked. Listen, I'm gonna be completely frank with you. I do not trust me. Oh, I do not trust uh, sadness. Whoa. Sadness? How did you? Ah, shit. Well, that's my seven years bad luck. What the fuck is back there? That's the monster back there. <gasps> She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse? I... How? Why? Okay, so maybe I was supposed to drop down here. Show that weirdo. What, what are you gonna do? Hmm. There were some kids here. Okay. So this is pretty much sadness communicating with us through our world. But now we gotta drop down here. Okay. Hello? Anyone? Definitely trying to show us something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Come on, hurry. Do that. He's nice. Ugh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Shut up, Bernard. Bernard. Okay, so now we're headed back inside. <laughs> These are all the kids. This has to do with the kids that used to be here. Shh! Here she comes! Guys? Come on! It's dark in here. This isn't funny! I really don't think we should. Shut the heck up, Bernard! Guys! Oh. Kids can be such assholes sometimes. For real, bro. <laughs> That's fucked up. Going now, sadness. Back inside here. Whatever you do, don't pop anything crazy now, okay? Just keep this cool, calm, and most importantly, very collective. What is it? You want to show me something? Oh no. What the hell? It looked back at me. Oh, what the fuck? 
Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? I feel like we're gonna have to use that little cat somewhere. Oh. Torn illustration. Okay, sadness. Come on now. Let's stop playing these silly games. Let's get on with the program. What are we doing here? As I got closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. Oh. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. Oh, fuck this. Alright, guys. Here we go. Just keep it cool. I can feel it calling out to me. We're gonna go into the into the spirit world through this mirror. Most likely. Oh god. Oh no. Kidding me right now? It was the first time that it ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Oh, so now we're here full screen. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? This is pretty much exactly what I was trying to tell you guys on on the last episode. When we were just having split screens versus like, you know, having the spirit world and the real world. I was saying that maybe we should have moments or instances where we could be in the spirit world fully emerged in one screen versus having a split screen. It didn't feel as immersive. And here we are. This is good. This is a uh, hey. No, no, please, mommy. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me that, man. Come on. <laughs> don't scare me like that. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Freak is that? What happened to you? Wait, I know you. You were that boy. Bernard. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. His head? <laughs> oh God. Follow the spirit trail. Okay, you got it. Send Bernard's soul away. Oh, that's just great. Now we gotta play hero here and all. Oh, fuck! No, 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 relax. All uh. these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart. Broken beyond repair. Oh, this is... Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this little spirit energy here. You know, <laughs> charge myself up just in case. I don't know if I should interact with that mirror just yet. It might take us to the other world. Okay, can I interact with these faceplates? One more time. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, there's that. What happens if I open this up? Here we go. Oh, okay, I can use the shield now that I got the spirit energy, right? Yes. Burn, you little fucks. Yes. This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. Oh, man. All right, well, we're here. <laughs> Tell me this doesn't look creepy, bro. Look at all this shit. <gasps> I hate this game. <laughs> I hate it, damn it. 
Okay, I'm actually gonna get more spirit energy just in case. You know, you never know when you're gonna need it, right? In case that crazy monster comes looking for us. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. Stinking monster. You won't get the best of me, you hear me? Okay, we're gonna put on the face. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Aww. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. Oh, what the fuck is that? No. Stay with me. Stay. You're crazy. Oh, hell no. You're crazy. You are fucking crazy. Hell no. Dude just said, stay with me. <laughs> you crazy? Have you lost your mind? You fucking doofus. No! Ow! What is this nonsense? Ow! Where is she? Ready or not, here I come! I gotta hold my breath, bro? Are you kidding me? Is getting absolutely terrifying. What the fuck? How? I couldn't believe it. That thing could travel between worlds. This is un there was no escaping it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. You can't be doing this for me right now. Like, I literally had to hold my own breath to get away from that thing. Can you believe this shit? The examination room. Great. Another mirror. Let's sit here. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected no time to explain you'll get the full report once i get back just leave it to me comrade very meticulous of you comrade okay before i go into that Locked. world oh, i've got nothing Okay, so we're probably gonna have to go into the spirit world again to get the key. There's those bolt cutters again. God. Oh, I need to reach them, she said. Sorry, man, I hate that, that I can skip the dialogue so easily. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to go back into the world. This guy's gonna come after us again. Oh, God. What now? Oh, no, there's more of them. Faces, no way to help them. Bernard. Just like Bernard. Bro, come on. Send away the souls. Now I'm gonna have to do this while running away from that creature, perhaps, at the same time. This is absolutely impossible. How do you, how dare you ask of me this shit? Here he is. This is it. 
This is where he died. This is so okay. creepy. I still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. <clears throat> interesting. This is getting more and more and more interesting. Here's the mirror. Good. Some sort of a conference room. Okay, now where is it that he died? I think we make a left here. Oh, hold on. There's something there. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. Mm. <clears throat> That's the guy that we're looking for. That means it must be around here somewhere. An attendance list. I'll bet the name I'm looking for is here on this page. But which one is it? Yeah, let's have a read here. Chairman, okay. Crossed out. Present crossed out. Nicholas present. Lena. Wargo. A lot of these names I can't even pronounce, man. Oh, five. Wait, does the mask have a number? Oh, we don't even have the mask here. Here we go. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Across from Boris. Okay, so Boris. Let's go take a look at the list. Boris. Boris. Oh, okay, I see. So, Boris is number nine. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Okay, so we'll go to seat number nine. Just gonna be over here. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is that one. This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. Perfect. All right. So now we're gonna go back to the list. Here we go, Nicholas. That's it, Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. All right, Nick. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck, 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 and shit. Now the thing 
is, once I'm back to the spirit world, can he still get me? I'm pretty sure he can. Alright, we're gonna keep it cool. Don't lose focus here. He's only trying to scare us. Totally got this. Okay, Marianne, you've got this. Just gotta keep your composure, girl. Don't let him get to you. Okay, so we got we got Nicholas's name, so now we can give it to Nicholas. Just this guy. Time for you to get some rest. You've earned it. Nicholas. Perfect. 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 <gasps> Thank you. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. Sorry, guys. Skip the, just the last bit. There we go. Examination room. Nice. So that's what we were trying to look for in in the other world. Oh. I do like that idea where you can go between worlds and it's starting to really grow on me. It makes everything a bit more complex, but it's unique. Honey, I miss you a lot. I really hope you can join me soon. <laughs> you would love it here. The weather is great. The sun is shining and the lake is beautiful. The, pe oh, the people are nice too, by the way. Nice and dead. All of them. Love, Francis. <laughs> oh, God. I love how you can find those little, uh, little, little postcards here and there. Kind of follow Francis' story as well. Pretty nice. Okay, we've got another mirror here. Not very particularly uh, a fan of this. Now we're gonna have to go into the other world in order to go down that hallway. Fucking hell. Here we go. Yep, there it is. And then we're gonna take the other mirror to go back into the real world. This is kind of like a uh, mystery solving horror game right now. Still don't know where sadness is. We can only see her in her like little essence, like a little spirit. Um, and we haven't even run into her in the spirit world too, which is kind of interesting. We're going this way, aren't we? Like a cloud. Oh, 
can't possibly be this way. It can't be this way. It's gotta be this way. We came from over there, so it makes no sense. Getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? Oh, she's the girl from the post. This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? Eugene Dennis. Den Danny Sick. The Impresario of Stars. Mm, there we go. Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Interesting. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Okay, so now we're gonna head that into the name, mirror again. It's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? Okay, here we go. Oof. So is she the one that died? She's the one we're looking for? This is where it happened. Oh. Of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Wow. Not pleasant at all. Oh, that's fucked up. And still no name. There's gotta be something. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, bro. Here we go. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Huh. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. I need a pencil. Maybe. Partial or not. Numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. 58555? Five, 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 five. Um, what is this? I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. Ellie and Tori. But which one is it? Ellie and Tori. Okay, let's go over here. Little nightstand. Nothing. Ellie and Tori. Okay, can we interact with any of the things here? About this room? No. I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. I still don't know her okay, real name. Okay, so we name. can't leave the room yet. Just words. Sounds without meaning. Okay, let's head back to... There. There we go. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Five, eight, nine, six, five. <gasps> oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. 
She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be. Okay, so we here have... Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria? That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Right, so her real name was... <clears throat> Tori, like for her. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. This is the Neva Resort. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347? I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so maybe now, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Jesus, maybe now we can head out. We've got a mirror right here. Now the question is, do I use this mirror? Oof. Yes, this is the way. So we got the last name. The real name I'm is I'm not going to lie. It felt good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Excellent. Now we go back to the real world through here. Hopefully this guy does not try to kill me and eat me up again. And everything should be just fine. Okay, if I remember correctly. Go back into the spirit world through here. And go back. Oh, hold on. Hold up, hold up. There we go. Tori. Here you go, Tori. It's okay. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Marianne. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than here. <laughs> Come on now. Send away the souls. Now, what is next? What is this? Interesting. Should we go? Will you just oh. let me pick you up already? Oh, the gutters are right there. This is perfect. A quiet girl. Mr. Rekowich. Is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all of my other duties, there's poor Mr. Park Whiskey, Park Whiskey, to take care of. So I try to do my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly. 
likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out of full conversation playing out full conversations and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She really is gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Is she be talking about sadness? Yes. Fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. Alright, well. Find a way into the day room. Okay, now the question here is This place. This is where it started. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck that you left? I hope so. Cause I want you to feel. The nurse. It got to her first. But why? I'd never felt darkness like that before. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first kill. Where it tasted death. And liked it. My poor, poor Mr. Taco Whiskey. Whatever happened to you, the test came back no signs of any brain trauma or dementia. And still, I look into your sad empty eyes and I have this awful feeling like there's no one looking back. Do not worry my love, I'll take care of you no matter what. I'll make sure you're as happy as can be. 450 milligrams of Alafaxin... Ven Alafaxin. That'll cheer you right up. Oh, ain't that some shit. Okay, we've got the bolt cutters now, but the question is, where is it that we were supposed to head to? And I don't feel very comfortable walking towards the screen like this. It's just creepy, man. There we go. These are going to come in handy. Extremely in handy. I mean, extremely handy. Sorry, I'm just... I'm just uh, a little nervous. So worth it. My, my English is not uh, precisely accurate at this moment in time. All right, we're going to head down the stairs. Oh, come on. All right, cut these. I hope that we keep these for a while, like... These can open up like so many name. shortcuts. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. right. Or a movie star. Like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. Here we go. Spy name it is. Nice. Let's get it. Look at us solving problems and shit. Let's go, boys. Okay, Marianne. Let's see what Sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. Are we here? Yes. Oh my god, we made it. This is great. Uh-oh, frame drops. We're here. Finally here. Into the day room. All right. Here we go. Got me. What the hell is it? 
Uh, it came from shame, from helplessness, from rage. Rage? It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ate all of them, Marianne. All of my friends. Your friends? I I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. One of your friends. Uh, no, but he was smart. Maybe he could help you. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he became hollow, like a puppet. He. I don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. tell anyone. You don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you... bring me here? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Investigate the day room. Richard? Who is Richard? Are you there? Richard? Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right, I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? spirit energy to go through the moths or whatever those things are a wall of inspiration a well of inspiration i'm sorry thomas i've always been stunned by the depth of the complexity of his imagination mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave the way he described them with every minute detail it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it as if something or someone pulled a veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality angel a demon is there really a difference i know it didn't matter to me as his vision came alive on my canvas some would say i used the boy to fuel my warning creativity but how could i not to let this unique perspective this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste and that would be an unforgivable sin okay so we're gonna have to try and keep an eye on both screens here Hear an echo on this side. Here we go. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. Mm -hmm. Why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I. I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. 
friends. Huh? Could Lillian be sadness? Throwing away greatness. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter, that he was our little get to, uh and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but in the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking he was throwing away greatness, mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his vision to life. And then he met her. Her painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed to help uh, he no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Hmm. I remember the first time I met him, working in a simple factory job, still more of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he... Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I would immediately tell that uh, I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. I want to know where that creature originates from, dude. Like seriously. I guess the only way is uh, straight back here. Bad one, skill, humiliation, rage. That globe. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketch, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all of the things he saw in his mind's eyes. The horror and the splendor of worlds beyond our own. It started out as an innocent exercise and imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. A hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who had them as a source of beauty. Who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. What is this? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Okay, and we're gonna have to keep investigating a little bit more. Let's go this way. Nothing here. What is this? Saw that already. Maybe it could. 
can show me a way out of here. Okay. <laughs> Everything in this game is just so weird. <laughs> be that nice perfect and we can go back around and go through here and now I can charge up my spirit the sparks too weak to absorb oh there's a it's piano like there missing something The, the music notes. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? question here is, what do we need the music note? I think we're missing one music note. Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Got it. What is this? We can cut through here. Oh, we can probably cross across and then open up that door with the key that we just found. And then get the key. I want to say get the, uh, the music note in there. And then after that, come back in there and play the piano. Just, just the thought. Let's see here. Was it this door? Yes. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Gotta be the other music note in here. There's no way there isn't. So that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh. Mr. Rekovic? I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just. Uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. He was striking, both in her beauty and her intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found, he had found true love and happiness. True love, strong and pure. Well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Neva, I pulled all of my strengths to get him what he wanted. Even though I knew it would, it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted the best for him. He was the closest to a son that I'd ever had. Oh, man. That should yeah. be all the pieces of the score now. There we go. Oh, my goodness. Jealousy. I mean, I'm sure you, the dude probably felt super lonely, but then again, it's like, you, you gotta, just gotta move on, man. Just let people do what they gotta do, you know? It's a little weird, bro. Now 
got enough spirits to go through there. Through the. Ah. I see. Now, we can go through here. Oh, what the fuck is that? Alright, let's see what we got going on here. This be Lily? Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of someone. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the... ferocity of adult lives. Richard? I'm getting a weird vibe from him. Oh, it's yeah. Grief, sorrow, and... something else. A little creepy in my uh, personal opinion. He's a bit creepy. Okay, so we've got some spirit here that we might be able to follow. Here it is. It looks like sadness sadness has a much bigger story within this Neva hotel than we thought at first. I thought we you know at first we thought she was just a random girl that died here, but mm, she's very involved in it. Whether it be directly or indirectly. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here. I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. gotta be this has gotta be sadness guiding us here let's see what is this ribbon no I didn't mean to oh god what have I done it feels What have you done? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh my god. I had never felt anything so desperate. Oh it was God. calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> the child eater. What? Yes, I know. No, I need to be sure. There's gotta be something around here. 
You want what? Fuck! decided to let me out of my cage and only when you need my help surprise surprise okay, you know what I'm not in the mood just tell me what you see come on come on yes I can feel it okay. it's around here somewhere oh well, that's real fucking specific Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. God damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? There. There. Where? What? Building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Would you shut up? He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back? Oh, just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. So is this the guy that we're reading about in the letters? It sounds like that's actually him. This is a long cutscene. I love this. Oh. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? That is Thomas. Did you do it, friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13-year-old daughter. I entrusted her to you. Thomas. Did you do it? 
I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page! Tell me I didn't hurt her, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. Oh, oh, oh. You, you have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! <laughs> I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. Uh, 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 Knowing uh, she's here. Knowing uh, what she means to me. Uh, Thomas, I, I swear I'll go away. You'll never... Wait. Oh, here. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in! Richard, this is your world. Show me what you're hiding. <sighs> All right, guys. Uh, we're going to end this video here. I had no idea we were even going to play with somebody else besides Marianne, but it looks like we're about to find out a little bit more about Richard and what he really was all about. Whew, the plot thickens. Now that little girl, was that sadness? I mean, that's what Marianne thought, but is it sadness? I think I believe her name was Lily. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see if we'll make another one. Catch you guys later.